One local business owner says he has been getting calls from customers concerned about how they can get to a shop on Highway 231. This comes after the highway in Lacey Springs was shut down last week because of cracks in the road. Now the road is blocked off while crews evaluate the damage. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Reyna. And I'm Will Robinson Smith. Way 31's Casey Albritton spoke to the owner of Evans Certified Service Center and learned how the closure is impacting his business. One business owner says ever since Highway 231 shut down, he's seen a decrease in business. You can take a look behind me and see there are no cars driving on this road right now because barricades are up. State troopers say they are working with the Alabama Department of Transportation to find out when exactly those barricades can be moved. Is that going to affect your business any? And I said, no, it's fine because everything is past my shop and then the first morning I pulled up and the roadblock was directly at the red light. Zach Evans owns Evans Certified Service Center on Highway 231 and says when barricades were put up on the road leading to his shop, he was concerned. I don't think a lot of people are going to want to deal with the traffic they know is building up plus having to deal with the roadblocks. He says since the area was blocked off because of cracks in the road, customers have been calling him with questions. They basically were just concerned that they could even get here, A, and B, you know, could they get through the roadblock and after they talk to the troopers about it. He tells me he's seen a decrease in business. A few people have complained just of the hassle of having to stop at the roadblock. Residents in the area say they are also frustrated. If I want to be somewhere on time, I got to leave 30 minutes early. Evan says he wants the barricades to be moved closer to the construction area. But if they aren't, he hopes customers will still come to his shop. Come here regardless of the hassles they have to go through. Well, I'm disappointed, but. You get used to it. Just plan for it. The Alabama Department of Transportation says these barricades are up to keep drivers from getting close to the construction site. We also reached out to find out when exactly Highway 231 will open again, and we're waiting to hear back. Reporting in Lacey Spring, Casey Albright and Way 31 News. And the Alabama Department of Transportation is asking drivers to have patience and plan alternate routes while the road work is being done.